A BNSF railway train went down on Sunday in Delta near Highway 1. The company confirmed it spilled some fuel. By Monday afternoon, crews were still working to clear the tracks with the hopes of having them back online by Tuesday morning. That could have probably happened anywhere, right? So, and anywhere being along the bay or, or next to the homes. Eric Seitz lives along the same train tracks which run through Crescent Beach and White Rock. He's counted a dozen BNSF trains that have broken down in the area since 2014, blocking community roads. He wonders what might happen if a similar derailment happened here. But it could have a you know, terrible impact on, on the bay. Sites has been involved in past campaigns calling for this rail line to be relocated, saying it's outdated while also running through densely populated areas. You've got way more people, way more trains. Um, you know, it's particles in a jar. Something's going to hit sooner or later. They are very vulnerable and uh, there, the area is um, prone to landslides. This transportation consultant says many of the trains that run through the area carry chlorine and other hazardous chemicals. She says proposed rail realignments could actually make the route shorter and move it away from densely populated areas. Do you really want that going through the community when there is a an alternative that is cost effective in light of um, the disaster that could happen. Despite years of campaigning, both BC and Ottawa have shown little interest. Advocates say the window to act is closing. You need to start putting that on the horizon and now would be a good time before, you know, say you build casinos and housing and whatever along those few remaining places that would allow for um, a much more larger and efficient trail route to exist. For now, residents call this latest derailment a wake-up call as this campaign looks to get back on track. John Hernandez, CBC News, White Rock.